Hey, it's Marvelo, and welcome back to my channel. So, today I was planning on filming a different video, but I really am like running out of makeup. It's all sorts of wonky right now, my eyeliner, because I was like at the last of it. So, I um, made a pretty big order from Ulta. <laughs> so, I'm going to do my second ever makeup haul type video. It's been a long ass time. I purchased all these products with my own money, spent probably way too much, especially since I don't like have a beauty channel or anything. Hello, knife. <laughs> but I can't resist a good sale, and the sales going on right now at Ulta are amazing. By the time you're seeing this, the sales will probably all be over. Slashing those prices. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of products I was having trouble with, and a lot of things that just needed replaced, so this is exciting. I've also never ordered makeup online before, so this is a first time for me. I don't really feel good when I shop. I feel guilty, and online shopping has never really been my thing. Hopefully I don't get too into it. Also, in this video and the next video, I'm going to tr be trying out two different audio things because the microphone on my new camera is terrible. I know the lighting isn't the greatest right now either. That's something I'm going to work on once I've figured out what I like with the audio. So listen to this video and my next video that will be out and tell me where the audio sounds better to you. I would just buy a mic for this camera, but it does not have anywhere to hook one up or anything. I guess that's what happens when you get like a generic Chinese camera off of eBay, you know. Um, it was cheap and it's good quality for what I paid, but I'm not sure how well this is going to work and how long it'll take to figure it out. Anyways, okay, I finally got through all the packaging and I have my checklist here to make sure I have everything. Starting out with my free samples, I chose the fragrances. I'll never buy a fragrance online. I don't have like a signature scent right now, so I thought it would be fun to get some samples. So we've got um, Amazing Grace from Philosophy. I've actually smelled this one before. It smells a little bit too dainty and not quite like sexy enough for what I would like in my memory, but hold on, let me smell it. I mean, oh God, it always, they always just smell kind of like alcohol to me. That's like light and kind of floral. I don't know perfumes very well. <laughs> oh no, it smells soapy. <laughs> but that size bottle of a sample will last me a long time, especially on something like this. It's dainty and not really the kind of fragrance I go for, but I will use it. And then I got a second sample of a fragrance called Poison Girl by Dior. And the packaging on this looks more my style, but we'll see if I actually like the scent. Mmm. I can smell vanilla in there, and then like a musky, almost like more manly cologne scent. I kind of like this one. It's a lot sexier, but there's like that note of manliness that I don't love. Awesome. Free samples aside, everything else is things I bought. Okay, let's just dig in now. I'm just gonna take my bubble wrap out. And my brother's trying to sleep, so I shouldn't pop it. First off, the main reason that I even made this order was because I'm running out of conditioner and the conditioner and shampoo I use are the Healthy Sexy Hair. Usually in store I'm able to buy the giant bottle, but only the small one was available online for conditioner, but it was an emergency and now I have it and I'm very excited to use it. I've been using this since 2013 when I was in beauty school and first was able to start using like these products. For much cheaper, bought it like a professional place, but I can't do that anymore, so I'm glad Ulta has it. This is something I just needed to replace. I'm like almost out. I use the NYX HD setting powder, that's the white one. I don't like loose setting powder, I like pressed powder, and this just happens to be my favorite one I've found. I've never tried to hide end ones, but I only purchase cruelty free makeup, so this has been my go to. If you have any suggestions of other finishing powders I should try, let me know. Now something I've been wanting to try for years, and this is something I'm super excited about, is the Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm sure everyone has tried it, but um, for the same price as a normal full-size Better Than Sex Mascara, it came with a sampler of the waterproof one, which is great because I can't decide if I like waterproof mascara or not. And lately for mascara, I've been using a bunch of duds. I have the Lengthening and Voluming Mascara by e.l.f., which sucks and the Doll Eye Mascara that is waterproof by NYX, which sucks, and then the Waterproof Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara by e.l.f., which also sucks. These all suck, so 
I've just heard such rave reviews. This is like a cult classic and I'm excited to finally try it out. All right, once again from NYX, I got this 50% off because it was a buy one, get one 50% off sale. It's their just matte liquid liner. It's my favorite liquid eyeliner I've found and I was really running out. So my wings have been real wonky. I've been using the one that's my second favorite, which is the Physicians Formula Eye Booster one. And it just, it's a felt tip. I don't like it as much. And using them together, yeah, I got these real wonky wings, but new fresh tube, and I'm way overdue for it. This is like holy grail status. Okay, before we get into like my other stuff, that's my sale stuff and some of my stuff that I'm actually... Stuff, stuff, stuff. Before we get into the things I'm really excited to look at, um, I'm gonna bust out the nail polishes I got. I'm not going to swatch these, but my nail polish collection is not very large. I've been missing a black in my collection for a while. China Glaze is cruelty free, so I decided to pick up the blackest shade they have, which I'm pretty sure is just a black shade. It's not matte black, which I would like one of those too. This looks like a shiny black. And I saw that if I bought one more, I'd get a free one, so I went ahead and picked out this blue. The name of the black is called Liquid Leather. This is called Combat Blue. I just think it's a beautiful shade. I'm really excited to swatch it out and maybe try it on my nails. This is called My Lodge or Yours, and I just like how it's kind of like a taupey color, you know? It's just very nude and I've never had a nail color like that so I thought it'd be a fun one to try out. My three new nail polishes and those should be fun to play with because um, well right now they're not looking their greatest but my nails have actually been able to gain some length in general since I've been taking vitamins in particular biotin and then I added a prenatal vitamin so now I'm getting folic acid as well so my nails are growing really fast and strong. So there were a lot of 50% off sales on high-end makeup, and I had heard good things about the NYX Très Jolie liner for, you know, like in the waterline, just a pencil, because I have this real ghetto looking um, wet and wild one I've been using, and I'm ready to trash it. Anyway, that NYX one was $12, and I could have bought something else and got a deal or whatever, but I saw that the Smashbox black waterproof coal liner pencil was also $12, originally $24, and I'm like, hmm, never tried out a high-end liner like this, so, uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. Pretty standard looking. It draws on just fine. <laughs> even just now, it really did not even, like, budge that much when I smeared at it. It's crazy. I mean, it like fades it for sure, and it's a twist cap instead of just pop on, but... Okay, that did. But like, once it sets in there, it's good. Okay, I don't know if this is very like normal or not, because I've never tried a high-end one of these, but I was just excited to get it for $12. And to be able to throw this out. Goodbye. One of my favorite makeup companies is definitely Urban Decay, and they had a lot of sales on things I had been wanting to try. I love the Naked collection. I have two Naked palettes. I would like more Naked palettes, and uh, so to add to my Naked collection, I got the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shapeshifter palette. It was 50% off, so only $22, and I just couldn't pass up that deal. <laughs> I've seen this palette before, but I love it so much. I've not yet swatched it. I want to see how the highlighter looks. Yeah, whatever, let's highlight my whale. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe I should swatch on the other arm. Probably. This is going to be pretty much my skin color. They're a little powdery, but then after like rubbing it a little, it feels softer and creamier. Yeah, that's pretty much just not going to show, so that'll be good setting powder for me. The highlight against my actual skin and not my tattoo is a little darker than my skin tone, but it's still a pretty highlight. What I'm really excited for is this contour shade. 
Um, right now I'm using the taupe blush by NYX, which is cheap and works well, but it has just a little bit too much of a red undertone for me, I think. This looks just about perfect. So contouring with this shade, I think will be like a dream. Yeah, that's beautiful. And I don't currently own a bronzer. I've never been into bronzer, but I mean, having a high-end bronzer, I should probably at least try it out. Wow, that is dark. Definitely gonna need a fluffy brush and a light hand if I'm using that one. And I love this. You guys have probably all seen this, but this mirror is double-sided. And on the other side here, we have the cream contour products, which I've never cream contoured. I need to see what the highlight looks like. It's in between those two contour shades, if you can see it. Um, I don't really want to swatch all these right now just because they're creamy and I don't want to get all messy, but they're beautiful. And I'm just so excited to finally own this and at half price. So when you see that there's going to be like a free gift if you hit a certain mark from a certain place, it almost makes you feel an excuse to buy more. One of my balls just fell out, hold on. And I saw that Urban Decay had a gift and I'm like, oh, well then I should see if they're having other sales. And they had a bunch of Vice lipsticks that are 50% off. I've never tried the Vice lipsticks personally, I've swatched them heard mixed reviews about them, but for $9 a piece, I was like, hell yeah. So I picked up three shades of the Vice lipstick, and I'm hoping I can pull them off and that they work for me. The shades I got are 1993 Crimson and Blackmail. They're all very different colors, and honestly the tubes look like they're missing a little bit of product. Maybe they've been opened before. I'm not super concerned. It was a sale. You've probably seen all these lipsticks as well. I'm going to go ahead and try to swatch them right around here on my tattoo. I don't know. Let's see how they cover the tattoo. <laughs> I'll start with the lightest one, which is 1993. Um, I've never worn a brown lipstick, and this looks good on the pale people I've seen it weird, uh, worn on, but like... I just don't know if it's going to be a good color for me. And yes, it definitely covers my tattoo. In case you tattoo your lips black, this will still work. It goes on very opaque. And, uh... Yeah. Huh. I like that so far. And I only imagine these are on sale because... Urban Decay is about to come out with something cool and even better for their spring collection. But that's okay. I'm okay with using older products if they're cheaper. That one is Crimson. I think it's a really pretty red. Quite excited to wear it. And last, Blackmail, which is like a vampy shade, which I have not had in my life for a while. At least not one with a formula that I like. And I'm actually surprised that this one seems to be, you know, a little patchier as you'd expect with a dark product, but still very opaque. Yeah. So I dig it. I'll check out and see if they smudge after I go through a couple other things. But I was super excited about these. Probably didn't need to buy them, but I wanted the free gift. Wanted the Shapeshifter palette, and I just kind of treated myself. And with it came two free samples. So the first free sample is the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. I remember trying the Perversion Mascara and really liking it. It wasn't my favorite, and I remember it was very hard to get off. So we'll see about this one. I've heard good reviews on it. It's this little tiny tube. Really cute. So now I've got three high-end mascaras to replace my three shit Trouble Store ones. Uh, let's check out the wand on this guy. I know we didn't do that for the other ones, but I'm sure you've seen them. So spiky guy. Kind of like these ones though, so I might end up liking this one better because back in the day I always used Cover Cover Girl. <laughs> back in high school I always used Cover Girl Mega Blast lashes, the one in the orange or the purple tube. Anyway, that uh, spiky one, it had the spikes instead of the bristles. You know what I mean. <laughs> Along with that sample, I got this little mini lipstick. I had one Urban Decay Vice lipstick already, and now I have this little mini version, 
and I did not have this color. It is bad blood. <laughs> These little lipsticks are just so cute. Um, yeah, I got a hair stuck in the liquid lipstick earlier. I'll just put it over here next to... Hmm, there we go. It's, it's just a stick lipstick, and yeah, that's all I got from Urban Decay. <laughs> These were 9 bucks a piece at 50% off. This was like $22.50, also 50% off. And I got these two adorable samples with them. And finally, I definitely didn't need this. It was not on sale, but it was only $16. And I had recently seen a review on it, and it looked beautiful. So, um, here's the Solar Flare palette. I was eyeballing the naked... Um, what's it called? The newest Naked palette, the Naked Flame, Naked Heat, the Naked Heat palette, there we go. And this kind of reminded me of some of the metallic shades in it, and honestly that palette just didn't seem unique enough for $54, and this was only $16, and has more shades, and oh, they're way bigger, I thought they were going to be tiny. They always look like people hold it so far back and I'm like, oh, it's the size of my finger. No, it's, the shadows are all bigger than my thumb. It's like two of my thumbs. So it's not as dinky as it looks. And shades are even more gorgeous in person. Honestly, they look a little dark and muddled online, I think. The highlighty shades. These are Beam, Orb, hmm, and Pulsar, kind of like the inner color corner type colors. Very pretty. And then I wanted to check out of these some of the more bold ones like this this here and that one and Gamma Ray are ones I was quite excited for. Let's try out Anti-Gravity too. Oh yeah. Those are all stunning. Gamma Ray seems like it's going to need a little more work for color payoff. I wish it was a little more pigmented, but the other ones are fantastic. From top to bottom, that is Anti-Gravity, Gamma Ray, Galactic, and Energy. They're all beautiful, and I'm really excited to play with more of a warm tone metallics palette. It just was something I felt like my makeup collection needed, and I love eyeshadow palettes, and I'm trying to only buy ones that are really going to be unique and helpful to build a good eyeshadow collection. Anyway, that's all I ordered from Ulta. I did want to place another order, but I stopped myself. This was plenty for me, a nice treat, and I won't need to be buying makeup for a while, except for that I'm kind of running out of concealer, and my foundation's the wrong shade, so. But I won't do a haul for that. I'll go pick those up individually or order them online. Anyway, that's all I bought for now. And I hope you enjoyed getting a little peek into my life and what I buy makeup-wise and what interests me makeup-wise. And that is going to be it for this video. Let me know if you use any of these products or if you have any product recommendations down in the comments below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already so you can stay updated for the next time that I make a video. I love you guys and I'll see you again soon. Bye.